This meeting is being recorded. Still nine minutes left. Still nine minutes left. All right, so um, may we continue? Try to share the screen. I hope it works. There it goes. I'm sorry for this uh, inconvenient. Um, maaf atas ketidaknyamanannya. Tadi kita di mana? Terakhir? Di yang nomor tiga, eh, empat itu sih. Empat ya? Nomor tiga, empat. Tiga, tiga, nomor keempat. Oh, nomor keempat. Oke. Okay. Okay, so this one, you can, when when you uh, meet with this kind of situation, you can say, uh, it was nice to meet you, or uh, the second one, you can say about, I'd like to meet, then you can say, I'm fine, thanks, like that. And we would like to see, this is an important one. Mm, the cross-culture exchange about the expressions. Let's see, what do we get in here? Uh, Cross-cultural exchange. Anyone would like to read this? Ada yang mau membaca pertanyaan ini? Silahkan. Anyone? Ada yang mau membaca nomor satu ini pertanyaannya? Nah, ya, sir, me. Saya. Oke. Silakan, sir. Itu um, yang muncul Adityo sama Al-Fatih nih di layar saya ini. Silakan, Adityo. Uh, Oke, okay, sir. Uh, where do you think these people are from? What are the differences in the ways they greet each other? Okay, good. Uh, can you answer the question? <laughs> Bisa dijawab kalian pertanyaannya. Hmm, okay. Um, I think the first picture is from Chinese or Asian people. Mm -hmm. They use that kind of uh, what you call it a ninety degrees de greeting. I think okay. they are from Chinese or similar country. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about this one? The the fourth picture. Mm, the fourth picture. I think that uh, from somewhere on the western, like okay. the United United. I mean, I mean United States, mm -hmm. America, something like that. Okay. They're using like uh, like have five something like that. Yeah, it's a they do it toast, eyebrow, for example, and give toast. Um, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Now, see, you, you see this uh, different uh, non-verbal expression. Non-verbal means other than language spoken, uh, bahasa tubuh. So this is the Japanese culture, and this one is uh, the West, as you can see from the way she wear the clothes. Cara berpakaian. You you do the you bow, for example, this you bow. It show respect. And this one, two men hugging. In Arabic culture, this is okay. Um, hugging or even kissing on the cheek is fine. But if you do this in Indonesia or in the West, uh, it means something else. So it's a different <laughs> culture, yeah? So um, that's the way how language works. Different places, different countries have different ways of expressing things. Um, that's, so that's just different, how to greet, greeting each other. So if I, If I am in uh, Padang Lebaran, Idul Fitri, if I meet my friends, um, boys or girls, I might not hug them, <laughs> just say, uh, shake hands or close. But if I'm in Arab culture, it's probably uh, it's like this. All right, so um, people shake hands and then several culture uh, making formal introductions. 
All right, so number question number two, who wants to read this? Uh, Al-Fakti, you want to read this one? Two? Mm, two? I'd like to, sir. Yeah. yeah. In some cultures, people shake hands when introduced. What do people do in our culture? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? I think What's the answer? in our culture, people do like shaking hands with each other and maybe hugging, but in in some mm -hmm. area, specifically mm -hmm. uh, like the area, the area mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. have a strong yeah, shaking yeah. hands. Right. Solidarity, maybe. Solidarity. Yeah. Solidarity. Yeah. Um, huh. Some uh, some people also some do people this, also do uh, this. Uh, like this one, you know. Um, I noticed this between uh, between boys. They do it like this, um, um, putting your hand in your friend's shoulder. Uh, the no, just, yeah. So well, some people well, some consider people... that it's, it's different meaning. All right, now this is cross-culture exchange, uh, non-verbal language, but since the focus of us is conversation, so I'd like, I'm not going into detail about this, but at least you already understand that different people might have different ways of uh, expressing things uh, through language. Now we move on to the next one. Thank you, al -Fatih and Adithio. Um, now we talk about more about you. Um, so this is the picture. We have career advancement, classmate, communicate, communication, confess, educated, education, uh, list of these words. Kira-kira ada nggak kosakata yang tidak diketahui atau yang belum diketahui atau baru dengar yang mana? Nomor 11. Number sure. 11, get acquainted. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number So number 11, get acquainted means that you have a friend, but you are not that close. So that's acquainted, get acquainted. You, yeah. you are trying to be closer as friends. You met several times, jadi bertemu beberapa kali, kemudian mulai merasa dekat, so get acquainted. Uh, that's, that's what I mean, get acquainted. For the people, you call it my acquaintance, acquaintance, uh, teman ini, teman, apa namanya, teman akrab, get acquainted. Yeah, so this is the verb, casual verb, get acquainted. Um, anything else? Ada lagi kosa kata that you might not know before? A small talk. Do you know what is small talk? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, small talk means like in this area, in this picture, as you can see, if you come to a new place and then you just meet a few people and then you want to have conversation with them, you try to open a small talk. Just like saying, hey, the weather is nice or oh, the food is good. Small talk. Jadi small talk itu dipakai buat kalau kita membuka percakapan di uh, lingkungan atau orang-orang yang uh, kita enggak uh, terlalu familiar gitu. Yeah. Itu that's this the meaning of uh, small talk. Okay, as you can see the next picture um, here uh, you can talk about yourself by saying this word qualification, my qualification is things like that, right? Okay, so the time <laughs> the zoom shows less than 1 minute, so I'm going to stop share here. Uh, we will continue to the, to the second uh, session. Um, all right. I'll share here. Please forward to the next uh, session. I'll be on uh, my way there. Okay, so I stop here. Um, please join me in the second session of uh, the Zoom.